Hello everyone. Today we are going to create a window curtain in Marvelous Designer. So we will import the setup first for the reference. I will just go to File, Import and select FBX. And then I will just click on the window file and click open. Now import dialog box will appear and over here I will just select the type as open and the object type as avatar and just hit OK. You can ignore this message. And now we have a reference window over here. You can select this setup and just bring it up closer to the grid. Maybe this much is fine. I think we can hide the 3D view as well. So we can just go to display and in the environment, I think we can select disable the show 3D grid. Now the 3D grid is gone. So I think it is more comfortable this way. I can just press two and on the front view, we can just start creating the curtains. Now let's select the rectangle tool and just click anywhere. Once you click it and you will get a dialog box, just enter the value 650 and 901. You will get a rectangle shape. We can then just adjust it according to the window size and everything. Move it a little bit down. That's it. And we can just fix it over here somewhere. And now I think I can now create another rectangle tool. Just click it again and select another value for this. This will be the top value which will create some kind of uh, pattern in between. Now let's bring this a bit down. And in the 3D window also I will bring this strap a bit down and closer to the main rectangle which we created before. Now right click and freeze so that it won't move in simulation. We are doing this because we are going to sew the bigger rectangle to the this strap, the smaller strap. So that it is going to condense the bigger rectangle and going to give us a wave pattern when we sew them like this. I'm going to sew it and let's press simulate. Like this. So you get a wavy pattern. We can change this kind of mesh by increasing the particle distance to 5. You can see the smoothness and everything. This you can play around as much depending on the PC specs. And now just move these patterns a bit upwards. I think this much is fine. Now simply we can just press Ctrl C and Ctrl V to create another pattern copy. And we can use this duplicate copy and move it to the right side. And then just freeze it so that it doesn't move. Now in this 3D window we'll just press 2 for the front view. And we will go in 2D window as well and select these right patterns and move it a bit that's it and in the left pattern we will just select this line and we will just right click and offset as internal line over here we will just select the value 150 type in and just press ok you will get these two points which are an offset we will select the left point and pull it up you can eyeball it any way you want i will just pull it up like this and now I will just enable elastic in the settings and also I will decrease the ratio value. And now I will increase the strength as well. Now let's zoom in a bit over here. Now go to pin box tool and let's pin. Select these and that's it. Remove the tool and we will just try to simulate this one like this. My PC is not that good, so simulation will take a little bit much more time. If your PC is good, it will take, it will be like very fast. Now the simulation is done. I will just wait for a few seconds. And now I will just move the pin points, which I pinned before, on the right side. Now you can see some gray part coming behind. These are the normals reverse. So for not viewing them, I will just turn on the thickness view. Before exporting, we can just change the thickness value later on in the settings. Right now, I don't want to do that. I will just change this from the thickness view. So everything is right now. I will just hold it and just bring it back a little bit forward. Now to just create a ribbon, I will just go in the 2D view, create another stripe with a rectangle. And I will just use transformation controls. Just in the 3D mode, click over here and bring it forward. I will want to tie up this ribbon at the point where we put the pins before and I will try to match it 
or maybe you can say just eyeball it as close I can that's it now I can select the thickness mode again you can play around and you know set the resize it set the size of this thing to small or large as as you want because I think you will like to tighten it up or loosen it up according to your own preferences now I'm going to pin tool and I'm going to select the pin box tool and select these points so that they are stuck at one point and I will start the simulation process again I'm in the top view you can use this by pressing 5 and bringing the points just in front the pin points you can do it basically it's a hit and trial process you can do it as you like I want to tie it you know diagonal kind of way that's why I'm doing that I'm trying to match the seam which I've created before now I'm just going to freeze it and I'm going to start the simulation process again so that I can just continue doing what I want to do and the curtain is not coming in between so I will just bring the right side and I think the left side also so that they can connect together and then I will just sew them together now let's go in the 2d view I want to remove these points which I created before I will just select the control and that's it press and hold control and remove these points that's it I'm making sure all the points are gone let's go together and sew the left side to the right side like this and we can just press the simulation button again I think I can see that the ribbon is way too big what I can do is I can stop the simulation again and I can just go in my 2d view and resize the stripe again the size is common it's depending on your preference you can increase the size you can decrease it I want to make it a little bit more tighter so I'm going to decrease the size and then press the simulation button again to see you know how it is going to look if we have resized it I think it's much more better now at least way better than before let's reduce the size a bit more let's put a little stripe more I think I will play around with the resizing a bit more from the right side it's the same thing you can do it from the left or right side I need to make it more and more tighter at least a bit tighter from the current value which I had right now yeah I think a tad bit more that will be much better and again simulate it and let's see I think this much is fine for right now I can just right click and clip the normals you can unfreeze the curtain and also make it more tighter so that you can have much more tighter values let's remove the particle distance to 5 again yeah it looks much better I think I will just uh, unfreeze everything right now and try to simulate everything again and see how it is looking Now since everything is fine let's select the pattern and just move it back again to its original place like this so I think in front view I will just select these two stripes and I will just unfreeze them and I think everything is done now and we can start the texturing process right now over here in the fabric window you can just select the fabric and change the color of the fabric you can change any color I am just using basic color F A E 5 B A. It's your choice. You can make any preference color you want. Now let's create a copy of this fabric. We can just right click and copy. Now we can just drag this on the strap and we can just drag the other one on the curtain. That's it. Now in the curtain fabric, you can just go in the basic parameters of the texture, select the texture you want. I have this PNG file, I'm just doing that. You can just download any PNG file or create your own PNG file. In the 2D window, you can just press P for the edit texture and just scale it for scaling the texture down. You can just drag down the arrow. We can get the texture scaled down as much as we want. Let's go in the fabric window again and just create a copy over here and in this copy I'm just going to drag this copy on this ribbon now in 3d window just set the view and click on the render button 
finally this is the result and we have created and textured the curtain in the marble designer please like and subscribe to the channel hope you like the video thank you so much